Magic Maze is a real-time cooperative game. Four adventurers have lost their weapons and they've taken to a shopping mall to re-equip. Your job is to get them to their shops to steal their items, then escape, all before the timer runs out. The adventurers start here. You need to work together to move them to their matching coloured doors so that they can reveal new sections of the mall and eventually find their shops. Simple. Except moving through this maze requires the utmost teamwork, because instead of controlling a character, you each control a direction of movement. If you want to move Orange to his door, the player in charge of moving characters up needs to move him up. Then the player in charge of moving him right needs to move him right. Then the player in charge of moving him up is back in and so on. It's a clever concept that has everyone working together at all times. If one player isn't pulling their weight in the game, you won't be able to win. And you're not allowed to talk to each other. You can't even point at the board. Up guy might be desperate to move yellow to his shop, but he can't do it on his own. And right girl is too busy concentrating on purple to realize her righteous right moving skills are needed elsewhere. Again, this is brilliant. Magic Maze is a game where you have to be aware of everything that's going on but also trying to read each other's minds. If one player thinks Yellow should be moving to its shop, and another player is convinced Yellow needs to go in the opposite direction to keep exploring, you're gonna struggle. There are two things you are allowed to do. Stare at someone intently, or put this big red pawn in front of them. The do something pawn. This works nicely because it tells a player they need to do something, but it doesn't tell them what to do and you'll find yourself staring at the board trying desperately to work out what the hell it is you're missing whilst the other players tap the do something pawn in front of you, enraged at your stupidity. Instead of using an app or a soundtrack, Magic Maze makes the timer your problem. It runs for three minutes. If you don't flip it before it runs out, you lose. To flip it, you need to get one of your characters to this icon. This is such a clever feature. You get so caught up in the rest of the game that it's easy to forget about the timer, We've lost so many games like this. You get moments when three of the players are freaking out about the time, and then the fourth player who has the crucial movement needed to fix the problem is completely oblivious. Or moments when you realize too late and try desperately to sprint a character to the spot, but don't make it in time. And it adds an element of time management. If you flip the timer too soon, you'll lose precious sand. And if you start worrying about the timer too early, then everyone just sits around waiting to flip it, not using the time to get anything else done. When you flip the timer, you're allowed to talk to each other, but without touching any of the board. It's a useful moment to discuss plans, but every second you waste planning is a second you could be using to move the adventurers. And when you flip the timer, you all swap actions. You now have a new direction that you control, which is great because it means you can never get used to the action that you're doing. On top of usual movement, one player will have the ability to teleport adventurers to their nearest vortex of their colour, and another player can move them up or down escalators. Having two actions gives players even more to pay attention to, which is great. If you've ever played Escape Curse of the Temple, you'll notice some similarities. In that game, you're playing cooperatively against a timer, exploring new room tiles, trying to collect gems and escape. Magic Maze reminds me of that game, but it's also refreshingly different. I have a lot of fun with Escape, but the constant dice rolling makes it a stressful, exhausting game. I usually play it three times and I'm done. Magic Maze doesn't have that cutoff. It's not as intense. We've played it eight times in a row, desperate to go back in and try to win. Escape is also a noisy experience with constant dice banging, shouting, and the soundtrack in the background, whereas Magic Maze is silent throughout. But that lack of intensity means Magic Maze doesn't have the same exciting climax as Escape. In Escape, you don't know when the soundtrack will end and you're desperately rolling your dice, not knowing when or if you'll get the right symbols in time. In Magic Maze, you can see the end coming. You can see the timer and you know how long it'll take you to finish. You know whether or not you're gonna win 30 seconds before the end. The games have a very different feel and I definitely intend to keep both in my collection. If you like Escape, then I think you'll like Magic Maze, but if you've always hated Escape for its stress levels, then this could be the solution for you. It's a less hectic real-time co-op game. The tension is still there, but the focus is on concentration and teamwork. Another thing Magic Maze gets right is offering levels of difficulty. Because the game lasts 12 minutes, you can add in a new rule every time you play, and the rulebook is set up like that to ease you in you'll find that each adventurer has special abilities, such as the dwarf walking through tiny mouse holes. 
If you get really good at the game, there are loads of challenges to introduce. Security cameras need to be destroyed by the Barbarian, or otherwise you won't be able to use timer spots. The more new tiles you add to the stack, the bigger the shopping mall you're going to have to traverse, which means you have to get a lot faster with moving. The rulebook has loads of suggestions for advanced variants. We've played the game 20 times and not tried them all yet. The only minor criticism I have is the game's player counts. Magic Maze is best at four players. If you play at two or three, one player gets to do multiple actions, moving up and right for example. This makes the game too easy and means there's a lot less teamwork required. It doesn't have that fun frustration. In a game with five or more players, actions are duplicated. Two players can move an adventurer right. This just makes the game odd because you only have half a job to do. And if one player is more forceful than the other in doing their shared action, you might do nothing. The shopping mall artwork is really nice, but the game is a little let down by its cheesy logo and the stark white background on the backs of the tiles and the box. Magic Maze is a real-time co-op game that has you working together at all times, trying to interpret each other's actions, pay attention to everything, and be efficient. I like that it doesn't rely on relentless dice rolling and offers something completely new to this genre. If you like the sound of what I've just described, you should absolutely get your hands on Magic Maze. If you want to buy it, you can support Actual Old by using the link in the description of this video. If you want to hear about the games I've been playing, follow Actual Old on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. I'm John Perkis, thanks for watching.